Yo, what is going on, boys and girls? Welcome back to the channel and another day, another microtransactions video. Now, I know some of you think I'm milking this, but I am honestly not. This subject has been damn near impossible to avoid the past couple of months and has just come to show the shady side of these developers and publishers. And with that shitty patent that got leaked, which Activision were planning on not implementing which means they were going to implement it they're just saying that now because it got uncovered now if people weren't already pissed off enough as it is with EA after their basically miscommunication with visceral games then shutting them down and moving them all to different studios they've also some more shady shit has just come out from EA not from them themselves but an ex Bioware employee and you know what happened to the studio which made Mass Effect Andromeda again dissolved and moved on to different studios under EA okay so I'll get straight to the point so an ex Bioware employee has said EA prefer to do open world games because okay wait for it they can monetize them more no fucking joke they can monetize them more so again showing the shadiness of yeah fuck it we don't care about the consumer we just want your fucking money hand over your wallet fuck you and you'll enjoy the game he then goes on to say someone spent $15,000 on Mass Effect cards. Now, I'd like someone in the comments to enlighten me on what they are because I've only ever played Mass Effect 1 and it never really fussed me as a game I was interested in. So I'd like someone in the comments to let me know what this card system is. I'm guessing it's more my it's obviously more microtransactions, bollocks, and you know how EA and Activision love slamming everyone with microtransactions. I mean, I'm sick of doing these videos at this point, but... It seems every single time I go on PC Gamer, which is where I get a lot of my news from, and I like to see what's going on in the PC gaming industry. And you see interviews and shit about microtransactions every other day by people from within the studios themselves who are ex-employees or have basically just leaked the stuff because they don't like what EA and Activision are doing. And it just continues to shine a dark light on the publishers and forcing the developers to put stupid microtransactions within their games. He then proceeds to say, like, FPS games, 6 hour campaign, you're done. Open world games, 40, 60, maybe 100 hours in games. I mean, games like Skyrim, 100 hours, but there was no microtransactions buried within that game. He says EA and every open world game they are now doing, they want people to continuously come back and then have little things like microtransactions on the main menu in the hope that, hey, maybe after 30 hours of playing, you might get tired of the grind and you might get out your wallet and spend some real money on them and he says that over 50% of people do generally buy the microtransactions and my question to those people is what the fuck are you doing you're fucking up the goddamn industry and making these fuckers more greedy and getting more and more and more and more greedy and do you want to pay more for your games in all honesty to get rid of this stupid microtransaction shite if game prices had to go up 10 or 20 dollars I'd happily pay that considering there was no more season pass shit and no more microtransaction shite. If that was enough to keep the goddamn greedy ass investors at bay, then so be it. He then goes on to explain how EA prefer multiplayer experiences over single player ones, which again would explain why they fucked off Visceral Games when they were making oh, a game I was so hyped for a single player Star Wars game. I mean, I've only been waiting for one for since goddamn Star Wars The Force Unleashed, but you know what, just fuck EA and fuck their shady practices. And they basically said they prefer them because they can monetize them better. They can monetize multiplayer open world games better, which is why we're seeing EA gravitate more towards open world games and more multiplayer focused games. I mean, every single game they've released over the past four or five years contains multiplayer in one aspect or another. I mean, I haven't seen a single player only game off EA in fucking years. And the only good single player game, like single player only game I've seen in the last couple of years is The Witcher 3. I want someone else to point me out a single player only game. I mean you can class Shadow of War as a single player only game I guess but it does have multiplayer elements. Just let me know of a single player game, literally just single player, no multiplayer aspects whatsoever which has actually been decent apart from The Witcher 3. And don't come at me with the Fallout 4 shite, that game was nowhere near as good as Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas and you fucking know it. So this all but confirms microtransactions will be in Anthem, which is an upcoming open world game by Bioware. Now, not the Bioware, what was merged or shut down, the original Bioware, which worked on Mass Effect 1, 2 and 3. 
And <laughs> people who would not expect a microtransactions in that are fucking stupid. It is going to be a massive, like, MMO setting. Yeah, definitely going to milk that for microtransactions. Tell me they're not. Th this is all but confirmed. Microtransactions are going to partake in that game. And I imagine they'll be more intrusive than Destiny 2's microtransactions. And I hate the microtransactions in Destiny 2, and I wish they were just goddamn took out. But for us to expect no microtransactions in a AAA release from EA is unthinkable in their books they will always have microtransactions from now going forward until we have a market crash which is what I've asked for a lot of you in the comments are saying we don't want this we need a market crash for games we need a market crash in the games industry which will get rid of these greedy fucking stockholders in these companies and then they will not be expected to meet ridiculous sales demands and microtransactions will slowly fizzle away Thank you all for watching this far, that is all I really want to talk about in this video. Again, another depressing subject, but it has to be spoke about, because I can't let these fuckers get away with this shit, I mean, not like I'm making a huge impact, but hopefully one day we can. If you enjoyed the video though, guys, be sure to smash that thumbs up, follow me on the social media platforms down below. If you don't agree with me, let me know in the comments, but come on, don't ride the A's cock, and I'll see you all tomorrow. What you know about dreams, dreams Tell me what you know about night There is nothing You don't really care about the trials of tomorrow Rather lay awake in the bed full of sorrow I'm on the pursuit of happiness I know